um, state of main ranger pack thingy wrong no think about it Hey campers, George here. <laughs> Struggling today, cabin fever big time. The weather in Minnesota is not cooperating at all. And now I'm getting sick again. This uh, winter has been a tough one, but gives me the chance to do some stuff that I need to get done. And that is go through my day pack, get it all set up for the year, I know it's a little bit late in the year, but I've been using it a while. But yesterday when I went out on a, a little uh, walkabout, I noticed that some stuff was missing and I'd forgotten that I'd moved stuff around between packs and I needed to go through them all again and make sure they were all in the right place, which helps when you're out there. So with that in mind, what I'm going to do is go through my day pack with you. I've tried to pack it as an all season day pack. In other words, I just need to add things or take things out for whatever season it is without having to repack the whole thing. Wanted to make an easy mod for the season. So I'm gonna lay it out on the floor over there and show it to you and uh, hopefully you can give me some ideas to add or subtract or whatever you think. So this is my LL Bean day pack. I'll go through it and show you what's in it and how I modify it for the seasons. So here you can see it all laid out. And uh, there's my LL Bean day pack. And the additions that I've added to it are simply this guy here, which is a canteen holder. And I attached it to the side through pouch on the day pack. I, I needed more water. I, I drink a lot of water. I make tea and coffee and things like that. And I wanted something, wanted to make sure I had enough water to cook and things like that. So I added that, plus I put all my tea and coffee makings in it, which I have with me wherever I go. Now, the way I set this up, and you'll see as we go through, I have it in different sections. Um, is my Buck Spitfire. Um, I had lost it, and somebody found it at work and returned it to me. So um, by that time I'd got another pocket pal and I just decided to stay with that and put this in my ditty bag. And then I have some miscellaneous pieces of cord that I have in there just in case. Some duct tape, always a good thing. I have some wipes, something to keep my hands clean if I'm making food or anything like that. Hygiene, kind of important when you're out there, you don't want to get sick. This is a wristband um, which has an insect repellent on it. So in Minnesota in summer, that's a good thing. I have some portable aqua, which is just uh, water purification tabs. And I have bug spray. A lot of bug spray. In summer, when it gets humid in that, there's a lot of bugs out there. I do have some scope. And I have some hand, some washing soap. I just wash your hands with it, just a sanitizer. And that's in my ditty bag, and that's for my day pack. So there you have it, my things bag. This here is my first aid kit. And it's something that uh, I got from the safety department at work. Uh, they have a lot of incentive programs uh, where I work, and they're big on safety. So to encourage people to be part of the safety program and that sort of thing, they give you prizes for doing certain tasks and that. And this was one of the options that they had. So... I really liked it, so I got it. It's a very basic first aid kit. It has all the necessaries in it for a day pack. As you can see, I have a lighter in here, a cold compress, and just some protection cream, burn cream, that sort of thing. Just the very basics, I did add this, and this, which is just from an old pack, and it has some antihistamine stuff in it. Attached to it, I do have, welcome to Minnesota, a tick remover. So uh, that's just attached to the outside. You don't want to get Lyme disease. You should be carrying one of these things, especially in summer. 
Now over here, this is my, uh, basically all my kitchen stuff and my water carriers. This is your standard military stainless steel canteen and mug. And uh, it goes in there just fine. And it sits in a can. It sits on, I'll put the top, the, the lid on inside the, the carrier and then in the pouch and put this uh, inside. And I love this setup. And the nice thing about my pouches, and I will show you when I have it all together, is on the side of the canteen pouch is little pockets. And that's where I keep my coffee and tea, depending on the season and my mood as to what I'm going to drink when I'm out there. Love doing that. And here is a clean canteen and a GSI outdoors mug. And it's just a nesting thing. Uh, a nice setup as well. Handy to have. I mean, it is overkill. I have everything there. And then my cooker. This is just a windshield. So I can put it around to protect uh, my cooking. And the way I have this set up right now is it's set up for using wood. A wood burner. And everything is in there. I've showed you this before. It's my Quinelli uh, two-person cook set. And I'll put a link up there as well. In here, I have my sporks and the pieces that go across the top of the cook set where everything sits on. There is a little lighter in here and there is some fire starters in here as well. That all goes in there. Now, what I can do with this is if I decide not to go with a wood burning system, I take this all out, just have the main mug in it here. And in here, I can sit my one burner stove and actually the uh, the gas container, just like this, fits in there. You can see there. And this is my little micro cook one burner stove that I have in here. And I believe I, I did a walkabout and showed you it. It's a tiny little thing. It works and it would do the job. You can see how small it is there. Nice, it actually works, surprised me. So those are my options, depending on how I'm feeling or what mood I'm in, is what I take with me. Um, in winter, I'm probably better off carrying a one burner stove, just simply because I know that it'll work. Whereas with the a wood burner, especially when you've had a lot of snow in that, um, it's really hard to find wood to burn. You've got to be digging around in the snow, don't really want to be doing that. So having a Gas burner is a good thing. <laughs> what can I say? Minnesota, you got to take your chances. So there you go, my kitchen setup. Is the stuff that is always with my day pack, no matter what season it is. And that is this emergency blanket I have here, which is a, a sturdy, reusable, thick, uh, great emergency blanket to have um, has a reflective on the outside and then I mean on the inside and then you have the bright orange so you can get seen you can use it I think it's also big enough to make a shelter so that's always in my pack goes in the bottom I have a schmug and for my delicate bottom and this is always in my pack in winter a lot of snow around sit this on top keeps you dry in summer, you want to sit comfortably on a log. It's a nice pad to have. Or you don't have anywhere to sit and you've got to sit on the ground and it's muddy, a little damp. This helps. And it takes up no room, really light. It's actually made from a yoga mat. And then my gaiters, my leg gaiters. These I have all the time. Simply because in winter, this keeps the wet off the bottom of my pants, especially when the snow is a little deeper than normal. And in summer, you know, you get all the dew or it's rained and the grass and everything, the small stuff on the bottom gets wet. You want to keep your pants dry. This really works. So it's always in my pack all season. So those are my all season things. Now this stuff here kind of varies according to the season. Uh, these are my boot chains, which is obviously for winter, and I just hang them on the back of my pack. And then uh, before I go out, I just put them on my boots before I start trudging around uh, where it's a little slippery and icy and that sort of thing. Never really use them in summer, although it gets muddy and a little slippery. I just 
these don't really work in that situation. I do have a staff that I carry with me to help with my footing and keep me a little bit more balanced in summer. So these are my winter edition. Typically, they're only with my pack in winter. Just like these are as well. And these are just simply hand and feet warmers, which I use in winter, not for me. <laughs> um, they're actually to keep my batteries warm for my video uh, recording stuff and that. But they are a good thing to have because if it gets a little bit too cold, you can keep yourself warm. That's a winter edition, just with these as well, which are just some gloves, which is more of a mitten style. You can see here, but the mitten opens up and it's fingers so that your fingers are in, you can actually use your hand. And it's got a little tuck in on the back here. So when you have it on your hand, just like that, I can tuck this the mitten part back on my hand and I have a hands free you can manipulate a little bit better with your fingers open and then when they start to get cold you have a mitten I do like these though they work pretty well they are warm <laughs> and then obviously the other addition is a, um, a warm cap and my old faithful spam one which I'm about to update stay tuned <laughs> and I have a neck gator which I got from Cabela's and this works great I found this is a great addition that's not used enough a lot of people over look uh, overlook this and it really helps me keep my neck warm when I'm out there and it's kind of chilly and uh, these are my frog togs this is a poncho style I love this the thing weighs nothing it's a little bulky but it's not that bad but it works great uh, it's a great poncho and this is really a summer thing and uh, because in Minnesota there's a pretty good chance it's going to rain <laughs> you're going to need this so uh, this I carry around typically in summer unless I'm 100% sure we're not going to get any rain this is in my day pack uh, for the summertime Another thing I always carry with me, I'm sure everybody else does, besides having a little pocket pal that I carry in my pocket all the time, a little folding knife. In my day pack, I have this guy, which is a Browning. I believe the model is a 0225. Yeah, 0225, and it's from Browning. This was actually my first real camping knife that I, I started using when I finally had a reasonable budget to work with. I could get this guy and I got him and he worked really great for me. I love this knife. The problem I had is over time I found it to be a little bit too small. But for a day pack, great knife. And then I have this guy, which is the Calamus uh, Carnivore. And it is a machete. It is new to my pack. Um, I only just got this and I got the idea from Really Big Monkey One. And uh, who's a big machete guy and I thought you know I'm terrible with an axe I, I I really struggle with an axe so I thought this would be a better option for me I'm not going to be chopping down big trees or anything like that especially when using my day pack so this will work for me it has a saw on it and I did a, a pre uh, I did a review on it and I'll put the link up there as well Calamus Carnivore so those are the two cutters besides a pocket knife that I'll have in my pocket that I carry with me in my day pack. One thing I didn't have laid out there was a little food bag. I always, if I'm going to go out and I'm planning a meal while I'm out there wandering around, I take this guy, which is my Sea to Summit dry bag. It's a small one. It's not very big, but it's enough to put uh, everything I need for a meal in there. And it's nice because sometimes I'll put stuff in and it leaks. It's a dry bag. It stops it from getting all over my pack. So uh, in case of an accident, this will keep everything inside there. So this is for my, what I call my meal bag. Has all my uh, eating stuff in there, what I'm going to make uh, for a meal. Okay, yeah, we have it all packed up. And like I said, this is my LL Bean. And on the front of it, here are my boot chains. They're just hanging off the front here, easy accessible. Typically, I have them off. 
and on my boots before I start walking. And then in here, there's a little front pouch you can see here, which has my frog togs in it and my gaiters, which I'd have on me before I started walking if it was wet or anything like that. Here is my uh, uh, machete, just sitting in the side pouch. Here. It would go onto my belt. And I have my, uh, my knife here. Same thing goes on my belt. Now, if I don't take them out, they are fixed in there. They're actually uh, attached to these straps on the side, so they won't just drop off. This is just my little tripod I use for my GoPro. And in the front here, there is a pouch, uh, which is a quick access pouch. In the front, you can see in there, uh, there it is there, and it has my medical aid kit and my uh, hand warmers. Uh, I know it's all in there. And then up top here, in the little front pouch at the top, over here, I typically would keep things I need to get to right away. And it does have my video, video stuff like my GoPro and things like that in there. And the main pouch is where everything else goes. Obviously, in winter, these things I'll be wearing. There is a lot of room in here. I have a plate. I have my mono and my bitty bag and my camp kitchen and everything in there with a pot, with a pan. And in the top there, there is a little side pouch here, which is for a, a hydration pouch, but I use it to keep my little sitting pad and my schmoggy thing there. And my water pouch is on the side here. And like I told you, here is my canteen holder. And it has the little pouches on the side. And the nice thing is, it's where my tea is. So if I want to stop and make a cup of tea, it's all in one place right there. Just pull out my stove and have a cup or coffee, depending on my mood. <laughs> so that's the basics of it. Very little changes as to the seasons. Uh, typically, I would lose all the heavy like the headgear, the gloves and things like that. Um, I do have working gloves. You should always carry working gloves with you. Um, they're normally in my daddy bag, but they weren't. I see, so I need to put them in there. Actually, they're just leather gloves that when I'm, uh, you know, just dealing with chopping up wood and things like that, good idea to wear gloves. So there you have it. My day pack and how I use it, depending on the season. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know the story. And if you put a comment and like below uh, what you think of it and what you have in your day pack and what I don't or should have or should not have, I'd appreciate it. And I'm pretty sure I'll be back again. Just saying. Thanks for watching. Bye.